For more than 10 years, Abu Bakr Sheikau was the face of terrorism in Nigeria. As the leader of the Boko Haram, he oversaw the killing of more than 30,000 people. This includes innocent girls who just wanted to go to school. But Sheikau's rivals have now caught up with him. The Islamic State of West Africa says the man is dead and that he killed himself. Will this mean an end to jihadism in West Africa? Our next report has the answers. It was said that Abu Bakr Shekau was like a cat with nine lives. The murderous leader of Boko Haram has been proclaimed dead several times before. The Nigerian military would make the announcement only to be humiliated later in a terror video shot by Shekau himself. This time it's different. It wasn't the Nigerian military that made the announcement. It was the terrorists themselves. <laughs> We followers are all in a joyful mood and full of happiness following the promise God fulfilled by giving us a victory to destroy the big troublemaker, the leader of the nation who calls himself Imam Abu Bakr Shakao. God has judged him by sending him to heaven. That voice was of a terrorist from the Islamic State in West Africa. He claims they found Shakao and offered him a chance to join them. But Shakao killed himself by detonating an explosive. For years, Shekau was the face of terror in Nigeria. After taking over the Boko Haram in 2009, he transformed the terror group from an underground sect to a deadly insurgency. In the years that followed, Boko Haram was directly responsible for more than 30,000 deaths and more than 2 million displacements. Shekau caught the world's eye in 2014. He kidnapped hundreds of girls from a school in Borno. An event that led to a global movement, bring back our girls. Even today, many of those kidnapped girls are missing. Under Shekau, Boko Haram carried out high-profile bombings, kidnappings and prison breaks. The group was overrunning towns in a bid to create an Islamic state under the Sharia law. But then there was a split. Terrorists left Boko Haram to start the Islamic state in West Africa, a group that eventually displaced Abu Bakr Shekau. Shekau's death hardly means the end of jihadism in West Africa. It might bring an end to the violent clashes between ISIS and Boko Haram, but it might also lead to the Islamic State expanding its footprint. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.